Welcome back, viewers. Right now, we are having many conversations going on back and forth. It's really, really good. Lot of, lot of good stuff is being discussed. Manasi, with respect to what we were talking about, what was the reason behind all this? Why that happened? Right. Being a friend of the victims, can you please tell us, like, from your opinion, what would be the root cause? Why that would have happened? Right, yeah, so for this particular incident, you know, all I can say is that both Srinivas and Alok uh, work in a uh, aerospace engineering uh, industry, and there are few Indians, you know, very few Indians in that industry, they're living in Kansas City, but because there were, you know, very few people, they're well integrated with, you know, everyone. It's a very tight-knit community there, and there are many Americans who are helping them, so it's not like, you know, it, they were, like, living a very isolated, you know, Indian lifestyle or anything they were they were well integrated in the community um, so the the thing that i want to say is that you know when they went to the bar and you know this thing happened they were questioned about if they were illegal um, workers or legal workers so that was the question posed to them so there's a lot of rhetoric going around uh, recently about uh, millions and millions of undocumented workers um, so in, in general i think the person already had hate you know about you know skin color and also married it with uh, the undocumented worker thing and so they kept on explaining to him that they were legally here i just want to say that most of the indians who work in the us are working legally so i, I think somehow this message needs to be you know uh, expressed or, or you know, talk more so that more people are aware of, of this it's not like Indians are, you know, a lot of a lot of Indians are working as undocumented, especially when they're working for, um, you know, co companies like Garmin. You know, they're not going to take undocumented yeah, workers. Indian, so. we Indians are all proud, extremely proud. You know why? We are extremely talented. We are more conservative oh. than local conservatives. Let, let me finish. And then we raise our children. Nobody raises like our like us. Family structure is very strong. No American family it even comes close to how we raise our children, how we, how we live here. And we all came with a lot of talent. I came, I did my master's here. I, I actually supported a university. Because of me, people like me, universities are surviving. Because of me working in uh, engineering field, industries are surviving. So what I'm saying is, we are proud Indians. The problem is, some of it is, I'm not, I'm not trying to uh, discount, but when you go to, workforce I've heard, I've, I've heard and I've seen when we come around a few Indians we tend to talk in our own language no matter even if there are some few other Indians. The point is we need to assimilate we need to be cognizant of we need to make others feel comfortable with us and we don't need we need to be part of American society like I said all the organizations have responsibility no I'll serve, tell you one thing I'll tell you to, sir. to serve this society because our children are going to be part of this society See, I'll all, tell you one already thing already the part of yeah. uh, the society and also I would like to uh, <coughs> you know differ a bit of his opinion is you know there are a lot of uh, people who do live here they grow their kids extremely well extremely absolutely yeah, yeah it is not like one sure. only indian you know the, yeah. because we are chinese they do it pretty us. well so it is yeah, not yeah. irrespective it is it is it is a question of how exposed the parents are more right. they expose the kids are going to be well educated and well talented you know when that is the case when you go to Cali uh, california man the people those who perform here they're very smart they're very sensible they're very smart so, that, so uh, we cannot so I'll tell you what between he was making is more of like our indian culture if you see it it's more peaceful our whole culture is based on that, right? So that's what he was, I think he was mentioning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, I, I want to make sure that all didn't Gandhi, get the other way. So we are Gandhians. No, Gandhi is okay, sir. But now, in India, there are riots hote, everyday people are getting killed. So we can't claim that, that we are coming from the same background. But the point here is, what I have seen, like, abhi aap dekh lo, you are from all in the sense, south of India, right? I am the only North Indian here. Now, I've seen it myself, and my personal experience, I'm telling you, 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 Kabhi bhi bhaar jate hain, hum log kame, see, agar, uh, you know, people from uh, Andhra and their people, they will stand together. I've seen it myself. If I'm the only North Indian, koi aake baat nahi karta hai, koi kuch nahi karta hai. This is the fact. So, yahan pe bhi unity nahi hai. Aur ye unity aapko aage jake bite karegi. 
कल आपका बेटा है कल से समझो मेरा बेटा यहाँ पे कॉफी पीने गया स्टार बक्स में समबड़ी शूट से मैं क्या बोलूंगा आंध्रा का बेटा मैं नहीं जाऊंगा उठाने all the friends who visited shri divas you know and were with his wife were north indians they were south indians they they, they were just indians yeah. they were i mean i don't think and i agree with that point because like i met with an accident here in dallas one day and you know how many people stopped by asked him ask me how you are doing right irrespective of they didn't know whether i am a north south indian or a north indian everybody stopped by whoever were passing i'll tell you one thing indians. very frankly very clearly i'm not from your industry i'm not from it i'm not from telecom i'm not from anywhere i have seen it myself and i know it it's a fact telugu people will only promote for jobs uh, coming from andhra pradesh and telugu people they will right. never promote yeah, i think we're i think we're okay the priya to change here you know let yes. no priya to change here i want to say something you know Recently I have organized a protest in Dallas downtown you know more than 1600 people participate this is again uh, against the Jallikattu issue we, we want to support our uh, brothers and sisters in India you know when I applied to the police department you know they were very supportive they came and the two three detectives were uh, on the ground supporting us and people those who walked uh, since it is downtown we had a lot of attractions people didn't walk around they stopped it and they asked us why we are doing this and they supported us as soon as they realized you know we are we are against peta and they shared their uh, positive support to us even few people spent 10 to 20 minutes of a time supporting our protest so it is not again Who are you talking you know, about the americans as as or americans. indians americans. if i may well, if i may step in one thing i have to no uh, again you know what i'm saying is it is not indians or americans no, 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 no. in the same uh, right now the debate is for for how how we can un- unify the, the solution what? what we are now again as we discussed only thing is getting along with them educating them right. and learning about them is the only possible solution i and, personally can and, see uh, how it could be solved and like that uh, in the sense responsibility of the associations here Well, again, uh, uh, let me. Again, uh, I think I already cleared. Also plays a, may, a small role on it. So But personally, we should not say that you know I'm not a president or secretary. No, or no, we have. Or I or have American friends. Each and every uh, one. If I can, if I can, can uh, divert, if I, I can divert, divert the conversation. Uh, Arun, I think the conversation is being uh, really going all over. No, let's. Just, okay, let's focus right now. Yeah. The point is, we as Indians together, right? We need to be integrated with Americans. We have to expose That's that we part. are not danger to them. right that if we can prove that we should be in a better shape no no we don't have to we are, it's proven fact we are not danger for them it's no, please one to one incident happens they didn't know at this point if you are not uh, like uh, as she uh, was explaining hey uh, 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 what happened with the six here let Go me on. ask you in this when the war happened in afghanistan all the six here kya hua tha inke sath they were regarded as afghanis then they were like what happened chance, please So you know we have to just in uh, this educate and be as one India first. Let me clear a couple of things said earlier by my panelists. I think uh, you know, for example, I can vouch and pr- you know pledge on this one. Telugu community pro- promoting only Telugu people. Unfortunately, nothing of that nature because happening. Uh, I'll I think prove it, it to you, sir. <laughs> the the I, important I, I, thing I'll is. Prove it I just want to I just want to say you know one thing that it, it really feels re- it feels really bad that we are talking about. you know all these different uh, languages I, i think we should just talk about pe- you know people of one nationality yeah, indians yeah. And that's and what i said the, the, the the unity if i may the, add the, if the, i may the, add we are talking about issue, how to prevent the, the how to prevent these kind of attacks you know that's that's yeah. why yeah, the, the issue right. is talk- ian ian grillet took bullets on his chest He, he was an american he didn't think whether he was an american or an indian and here yeah. we are talking about that south indians or you know so i, I all i want to say that is that you know it's we are talking about like humanity right now yes humanity let's, again, so based you know, on since we discussed right about the cause of the root let's you know we are highlighting that how not united we are again the discussion why this subject is discussed today is just to make sure that you know since we are involved in the conversation so that people everybody understand you know you get involved <sighs> in community equally irrespective of telugu north indian south indian american correct, gujarati correct. japanese period you are right. here so a land of opportunity so, so right. let's the focus on the results with everyone right. educate the, everyone collaborate the, with everyone. The, if the i may the issue is as for the actions if i may mm. just mention couple of things i know we're talking about root cause we already know let's see 
I think we also heard from the panelists that the organizations need to do. I think it is the responsibility of the individuals to reach out and be active. Don't rely fully on the organizations. Organizations is nothing but composed of people, individuals. If the individuals is, are not right, organization will be weak. So you have to integrate yourself. First of all, read the history of the land. Also understand the government, understand the processes. See what you can do, what you can participate. I mean, if you don't do and don't expect organizations to come and do things for so you. We're, we're talking about hate crime right now. So the hate crimes are happening and it's continued to happen. How do we prevent, how do we protect our Indian brothers and sisters or any, uh, any other immigrants? Yeah, and, and then the, let me, uh, if I can make a point. So the issue at hand is, how do we do this? As a, right now, the federal government has uh, issued, uh, or maybe executive order, I don't know, but now even police, local police has the authority to verify whether you are an immigrant or non-immigrant. So that means we have to show something. We have to have a document. Is it not so not there, there, whether you are a legal or illegal or illegal. Yeah, that's what I meant. But uh, they're oh, uh, they're adding 10,000 ICE officers. They're adding bunch of border security and all that. So issue at hand is tomorrow if something happens, any incident can happen. There are a lot of ideological differences going on, religious differences, a lot of things we are handling globally. So in that aspect, if somebody does something. Uh, God forbidden, maybe if he has to have happened to be South Asian, and then people may mistake, and again there will be mis mistaken identity, thinking that we may be part of that, and then somebody may attack us. Sorry. So I would propose in this through this panel and to the uh, viewers, what we need to do is we need to reach out to our Indian government, ask us to issue OCI card with our Indian flag, so at least I can show somebody when I'm in the bar, if I have a conversation. I can show that guy that I'm an Indian. Here is my Indian identity, ID card. So if at I least- If I can offer the American no. perspective here. Um, you know, I, I was born and raised in this country. Um, I've always been, if you will, brown skin. Um, and I, I really had a very enriching childhood here. And you know, going back to, again, earlier comments, this is a very welcoming and warm country. Um, and, and just the fact that it is you know, a land of immigrants and that, you know, my family has always felt welcome here and, you know, thankfully we've, you know, never, you know, knock on wood, been, uh, you know, the, the victims of a crime. Um, I, I do think, though, that it is extremely important to, uh, you know, to your point of what can we as Indians, whether we're born here or whether we're, you know, from India, what can we do as a community to ensure that these types of things either don't happen or if they are going to happen that they're very minimized because you're always going to have people who you know, are you know, crazy or, or maybe yes. whatever. And I think the way that you do that is, you know, we, we talked about engagement. I think that's important. I think another thing is, is education. You know, educating um, not just political leaders. Political leaders are very astute most of the time. They know the difference between an Indian and a non-Indian. They know the difference between a Muslim and a non-Muslim. But it's at the local community level. It's about neighborhoods that Indians don't live in. It's about cities that Indians don't have a large presence in. Neelima, if you take, if you take that recent incident in a bar situation, right? The guy asking, are you you're an illegal immigrant, get out of the country. How do, if I'm in that situation, how do I show him that I'm not an illegal, I'm a legal, and I'm an Indian? Because <laughs> India has a lot of respect. Like I said, we, we do contribute a lot, just like a lot of other immigrants, legal immigrants contribute. But we as we establish that rapport with the American community that we are a positive, peace-loving peace peace community. Separating no. yourself from other immigrant <clears throat> communities you know, and saying, I'm an Indian, I'm not a Middle Easterner, I'm a Hindu, I'm not a Muslim, is not necessarily the best way to go about uh, it. I think, no, I think no, that no, you can that's, where the, the that's, that's where the you hate know? is coming from. Well, where well, the hate is coming from. But I think that we have to... Where the hate is coming from. I think the hate is extending to immigrants in general. In general, no, exactly. No. And, and I, 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 you know, hate crimes maybe, has increased Maybe in a larger scale, but in a... Uh, no, 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 no. hate crimes has increased significantly yeah. against Jewish communities yeah. across this country. It has increased against Mexican uh, immigrants and Mexican Americans across this country. It has increased against Muslims from all countries in the world who are living legally and illegally in this country. It's it is about Indians, but it's also a bigger issue. And I think you know your question is right. You know, what can we as Indians do to protect you know 
this people, is people, but I think we have to make sure that we are. If you attending. look at if you look at the recent rhetoric, it's all about r religious ideological differences. Yeah, that's going worldwide, right? Not necessarily. So, so, let me ask you one thing. Uh, uh, let me ask you a question. And, you know, Maybe they, they want to construct the visa. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, for probably this for this incident, it may be related to that. Hmm. But what Neelima's point is, we have to check an overall thing. Hate crimes or crimes are going on right now. So on an average. Like what is the situation, right? It is not In because again, of a education. religion. It may be because of the immigration status yeah. at this point. That's See, what we're we, well, we are discussing today because it's happened to India. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, few months ago, it happens to American. Few months ago, it happened to other people. Yeah. We didn't have the, so w the end of the day, the, this kind of things is going to happen. But we have to see this as an opportunity to change our attitude towards how we live here, how we separate ourselves from a general population. This is we have to take this as an opportunity to get along with that. The point I think that talking about is, talking the, about the education. The point I was making earlier is, you know, there are two types of uh, hate uh, crimes here. One is people are thinking that we are taking their jobs, we are burdened to them. The other is religious uh, ideological differences. In those two situations, why I'm mentioning we I need to ident identify myself as an Indian is. I'm not a job taker. I'm not taking anybody's job, number one, because none of the skills that I have, nobody can do it. Very few people can do it. So that's the only way I, I was able to get into this country. That we need to prove. And then we are not part of any other, uh, you know, uh, as India, we, we are peace loving as a community where, where we come from is a peace loving. We are not hate. We don't hate. We don't kill people. Let's say uh, if we can think about education, I mean, both Neelima and uh, Arun, we all said education. What are the steps one, two, three towards that goal? Education coming from the government and percolated all the way to the school district so that they understand the value of the Indian community contributing and also understand a little bit more about the immigrants in general. So education from the corporations and the education from the individuals and community organizations. I think earlier Avi mentioned about organizations. Yes, there is a role they can also do, communicate, educate, and integrate and represent think, everybody and I think you know it's not just about Indian but in general all the immigrant of course like I said the entire country is a land of immigrants but it, it's an opportunity for us to be more I think integrated with the mainstream community I mean education I think I gave you three examples uh, from the corporations and the government and of course the organizations yeah if I can talk about the US India Chamber of Commerce we do represent all Indian um, professionals, Indian American businesses, Indian businesses coming from America. So we are very well integrated. We are not any you know, regionally specific or state specific organization. Um, and we do go out and educate. Actually, one of the, one of the roles that we do, you know, one of the uh, services we provide as a chamber is we actually go out to corporations and, and talk to their managers, talk to their employees about the Indian community, about its diversity, about its culture, about you know, how they can better engage their Indian employees, but also, you know, educate other non-Indian employees about the Indian community. So I'll tell you, I recently um, spoke to a group of banking executives, senior vice presidents and above, and um, I'll tell you, you know, what people will tell somebody who sounds like them, who is American, is not the same thing that they'll say to somebody who they perceive as an Indian immigrant. Those conversations, sometimes that happen behind closed doors, are very, very different. And you know, we may think that being Indian makes us somehow different from being of another ethnicity or being of another religion, but you know, just the same way that we sometimes don't differentiate between a Mexican American and a Colombian American and a Panamanian American, we just say they're all Hispanic Americans. There are significant differences between them and their needs and their, their skills and everything. And you know, many other people who aren't from India don't know the differences there. So I think we have to make sure we're being very proactive about educating the community, engaging at the corporate level, engaging at the community level. Um, and, and I think that's a very I, important thing. I think the education point is very well taken. Everybody are agreeing to it. We are gonna come back again and talk about what are the next steps. So we got into what was the reaction for these panelists. And then we went through the root cause, what, what happened, why it happened and also we are just coming over to the next step spot so we will have a break and come back and talk about that in a few moments thank you <laughs>